welcome to my channel i am so happy you guys are here i hope you guys are all doing amazing um and i have a really really fun video planned for today i'm going to be showing you guys my entire handbag collection now i've been building this collection for a very very long time and i am so so excited to finally just show you guys everything i've collected now everything i have collected i have been kind of like it's taken me about two to three years to have what I have right now. And obviously the collection is gonna continue to grow. It's really just the beginning and I'm really, really excited. So we're gonna go based on categories. I'm gonna go ahead and categorize it by brand and we'll just move forward from there. Thank you guys for clicking on this video and I'm really, really excited to just kind of keep doing these type of videos and hopefully you guys will love them. All right, let's get started. All right, so guys, the first brand we're going to start with is Louis Vuitton. Now, Louis Vuitton is one of my ultimate favorite brands, and I feel like my first ever designer bag was a Louis Vuitton Speedy, actually, and it was one of those, like, special edition styles, but I don't have that anymore because when I was a kid, I didn't understand the importance of taking care of those bags, and I destroyed that bag and threw it in the trash, and I was very ungrateful. <laughs> well... Now, everything you see today, I did buy with my hard-earned money. I hadn't had anybody buy them for me. I mean, my boyfriend did buy me a couple gifts here and there, but like, you know, nothing a little extra or any of that stuff. But let's just go ahead and get started. I have eight of them, and let's just get started. All right, so my first bag, uh, my first Louis Vuitton bag that I bought for myself is this beautiful baby. It is the Speedy 35 in the veneer. And I am obsessed with this bag. I am obsessed with the red interior. Now you can see that there's stuff inside because this is currently my work bag. And um, I honestly love it. It is really easy, really stylish. Um, now it's also what you call a basic B bag, but at the same time, I don't care. <laughs> I love it and it makes me pretty happy. Um, and yeah, and it was a graduation present from my boyfriend and my parents. They kind of all pitched in and got it for me. Um, yeah, I love this baby. All right, on to the next one. So this one's a little bit interesting. I bought this bag in the used um, bag market um, online. And what I did was it came kind of messed up. So I took it to Louis Vuitton and kind of fixed it up and... I love it. I have never used it. I think maybe I've used it once or twice and it's just, it just sits there, but I think it's a beautiful bag. And yeah, let me just show it to you guys. So it is the Epi Noe vintage bucket bag. Now the reason why I love this bag a lot is it doesn't scream any type of designer brand. Obviously it is a Louis Vuitton. And if you are a true Louis Vuitton, lover you would notice the epi leather from like a mile away but if you didn't know much about brands and you saw someone carrying this bag you wouldn't think twice about what kind of bag it is it does have a little um i believe yep monogram right over here and yeah i went and got all the hardware replaced and the strap fixed but it's such a cute little bag and yeah, I mean, I need to start using it more often, honestly. All right, so let's just go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so the next one is that your most basic B bag. Can you guys guess which one it is? Give you all three, two. If you guessed the Neverfull, I'm pretty sure you guessed correct. Now, this is in the, the Neverfull GM. One of my favorite bags for traveling. I kind of wanted to make it a little bit less basic. And I put the twilly on it and I think it looks so cute. I have it obviously in the regular monogram with the pink interior. I have a blanket stuffing it right now because I like to just keep it on display. I haven't used it because I haven't traveled in a while. But obviously amazing practical bag. And honestly, there's a reason why this is one of your most basic bags. Because it really does. Like it holds a lot. It is very durable and I mean, it's also a statement piece. So you see this and you're like, Louis Vuitton. But yeah, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. And um, yeah, one of our faves. 
All right, let's go to the next one. So the one I'm gonna show you guys right now, I also did buy again in the used bag market. And the reason why I love this bag is it's a classic. Um, it's kind of like, I wouldn't say your basic everyday bag. It's definitely is well traveling. Um, but yeah, I'll just show it to you guys. It is the key ball. And I believe this is either the 55 or the 60. It is humongous. And I believe I actually bought it on the real real for um how much? 600 something dollars. I mean, it was ridiculously cheap. And obviously it's authentic. I'm not worried about it being fake at all. But yeah, I mean, amazing to carry. The only kind of downfall about it when you're traveling is the there's no strap, so I have to like kind of carry it like this and it gets pretty heavy. So I would say kind of like stuff it very lightly or have something to kind of put the bag on. But yeah. Keep <laughs> Um, I think 55 or 60. And I honestly love this bag too. And it's currently stuffed as well because it's just put on display for now. So I have four more Louis Vuitton bags. I showed you all the uh, bigger ones. Now I have the little ones. So my first little bag that I have, I also bought pre-owned. I bought a lot of pre-owned bags that I'm gonna kind of film a video on how to buy online pre-owned eventually. But this one was a really fun one. And um, I mean, it recently became famous um, due to, I think, Stormy and Kylie wearing it. <laughs> but yeah, it is the Niche B. Guys, I managed to get it in one of the best conditions possible. Like you could see the leather is still near perfect. And um, I mean, there's a little kind of spot right here, but it's fine. It's currently stuffed. It doesn't fit that much, guys. It <laughs> doesn't fit much. Now, you guys know I carry those little um, Chanel card cases. Obviously, it fits in here great with my keys. Um, phone does not fit. I will say it could fit a, um, like, not the Pro Maxes, but just the Pros or the Regulars, but none of the Max phones. Um, and yeah, it's such a cute little piece that they don't sell anymore. Now, the alternative to this is obviously the Nano Speedy, which is much bigger. Um, but yeah, I think it's beautiful. And let's just go ahead and go on to the next bag. Now, kind of going from that, I have the Nano Speedy, which is my next bag. I was really excited to get it. And remember guys from the last video, I didn't know where I was gonna put this. I decided to put it on here. So just a quick comparison between them. You guys can obviously see that size difference. The Nano Speedy is much bigger. Um, does fit my current phone, which is the uh, 12 Pro Max. Um, it's also stuffed because I just keep all my bags stuffed whenever they're, they're on this plane. I'm not using them. But super stunning bag. was really hard to get, but my essay is literally incredible. And she manages to get me all the hard to get pieces. So thank you. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, like... You guys can see the little difference. I do have a strap for this one. It's just kind of put aside. Um, but both really, really stunning bags. All right, so next Louis Vuitton bag is one of my, I believe, all-time favorite bags. And the reason why I love this bag is it's practicality, easy to wear, and you can kind of wear it with anything. And it is the Mini Palm Springs. Guys, I'm obsessed with this bag. Like. I cannot wait to just wear it more often. Like, well, you can literally wear it with sweatpants, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with whatever you want. And this is why I honestly love it. Now, obviously it does come with two straps, but this is how I wear it. I like to kind of put it around like that and have it sit right here. And I think that's so cute. And also again, another very hard to get bag. So. If you ever find one at Louis Vuitton, snag it. Because I know, I know, probably in like a few years, it's probably gonna go up in value, which I, I've already seen people sell it for way more than what it's worth. But yeah, stunning, stunning bag. And now the last bag is the bag I had unboxed in my previous video. And it is 
the bag I'm also currently using is the mini pochette. Guys, this bag is freaking incredible. I cannot believe how much it fits. I cannot believe its practicality. I love how it just goes on like that. And it's super chic, super cute. Um, and I currently, like I said in my video, said that I'd be having a mini, my mini pochette in there. And then I have my little key holder. And in the mini pochette, I have my current card case that I'm using. And then a bunch of other cards. But yeah, this is super, super duper stunning. And I'm probably going to buy it like one of those gold chains like you see right on this one. Just because I think it would be so cute. And I do not want to like ruin the patina. But yeah, super duper duper gorgeous and very practical. All right, so that's everything in my Louis Vuitton collection. Next up, we'll look at my Chanel. All right, guys, so next set of bags we're going to be looking at is Chanel. No, I obviously love my Chanel bags and obviously more expensive. So I don't have as many as I have Louis Vuitton, but my plan is like maybe every year is to buy a new one. So my plan is always to save for the year and then kind of splurge on the one I do love. Now, I'll go ahead and start with my first and then go on to my most recent. All right, let's get started. So first ever Chanel bag I bought was this one. Now, again, if you are ever just getting started into buying bags and like, you don't know how much you want to spend or if you'll even like the leather or any of that this is a great start now what this is is a wallet on chain so they're much cheaper than buying your average chanel um and currently this retails for 2700 that's how much i got it for um back in 2018 and i bought it in the caviar leather obviously and it is the boy wallet on chain and i kind of stuffed the chain in there but guys it is such a cute bag i've used this one and loved it and i think it's such a cute evening bag too you can wear it as a clutch and you can wear it obviously with the chain gorgeous gorgeous black caviar i'm obsessed with caviar leather um and yeah the great thing about this too and the great thing about buying chanel's is they maintain their value I really do look at them as investment pieces and in the longer run you can 110% sell them for more than you have purchased them or for the same amount if you don't feel like kind of dealing with that um, but yeah this is a beautiful beautiful bag and one of my very first ones so I love it so much I am thinking of probably selling it to buy myself a different kind but I'm I've got a couple offers, but I'm not entirely sure just yet if I'm ready to part with it. Um, haven't worn it in so long, but yeah, let's just move on to the next one. All right, so second Chanel bag that I have purchased. Well, not me. This was actually given to me as a present. Was this beautiful baby. Guys, the love I have for this bag is ridiculous. Now, it is in lambskin leather, so not as durable as caviar, but it is a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, and I have a little kicker with this one. It's the double flap medium. Open it up. I have a little Samorga insert, so it just kind of lets the bag hold its shape whenever I just don't use it. And the fun thing about this bag I bought it pre-loved now again this is around the time I could not really afford buying Chanel new so I paid a really good amount for this one I didn't spend too much not as much as I thought and um the reason why I love this compared to a newer one is this was circa I think 2006 or 2000. I think it was 2006 through eight, this particular bag. I, don't, I have to look at the date code. Um, and the reason why I liked that time is because of the literal gold hardware. I believe they have plated their hardware with 24 karat gold. And I know they don't do that anymore. 
So I know in the longer run, if I do plan on selling this in the next 10 years, they don't make the bags with 24 karat gold anymore. So it's an awesome selling point. Not like I'll sell it, I love this bag. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful bag. It's definitely a classic piece. I eventually do want to purchase this particular bag in the caviar or probably the um, the jumbo in the caviar. Um, I'm, I'm kind of content with having the medium and the lambskin. And like I showed you guys, beautiful tw twist lock, double flap, and the inside, which is obviously stunning. Such a beautiful bag. Um, I've been wanting this bag for such a long time. So I'm really happy I have it. All right, on to the next. No. This bag, you guys have seen, I believe. Oh, I got lucky with this one. I was traveling back home to Egypt and I had a layover in Paris. Now you guys obviously know, buying in Paris um, airports or London airports is incredible if you are a US citizen because you kind of get the no tax. Um, so when I went into the Chanel store, I had asked them for a mini bag. I had saved up for a mini Chanel and very, very hard to find bags. She, I believe, showed me three different colors. And as soon as I, she took this color out, I was like, yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure you guys know which one I'm talking about. It is this one. Oh my God. Guys, 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 guys. This color is stunning. These bags fit a whole lot. And I have another Smorga insert in here because, again, it holds the shape of the bag. I am literally obsessed with this baby. It's such a hard to come by color. Um, and I mean, it's purple. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's like a lilac purple color. And I know how hard it is for people in the US to get a hold of this one color. Um, I know they've come up, come out with this color in the mini and the medium. I'm not sure if they came out with it in the small, but I know in those two for sure. And this is also a beautiful lambskin bag. But you know what I have realized is the lambskin's kind of different based on the years. And I feel like the black one's a little more shiny. Maybe it's not as shiny because it's purple, but um, such a beautiful, beautiful bag. And I can't believe I managed to get my hands on it. I'm honestly afraid to wear it because last time I did wear it, I got foundation on it and I freaked out. So stopped wearing it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Beautiful, beautiful bag, um, of course, and I would never, I don't think I would ever sell this bag. Um, yeah, all right, on to the next. Next bag was a bag I got as a birthday present in on 2020. And it's another one I've been wanting, and I know like the hype for it has kind of ended years ago, but I don't care about like what's trendy and what's not. I'm more the type of person I'm like if I like something I'm gonna wear it based on like based if it's trendy or not you know what I mean so next one is medium boy bag now this is the new medium and what I like about the new medium is that it is bigger um beautiful bag got it in the black caviar and I have very spacious. I have another insert in there and I got trash in there. Sorry, guys. Um, but the reason I love this bag so much is, is that it's more edgier. So if I were wearing, for example, jeans, a white t-shirt, which is more of like my everyday wear versus like if I was wearing jeans and a white t-shirt, I would pick this bag over this bag. Now, the reason why I would pick this bag is it's more casual, I feel, looking compared to more classy, elegant, sophisticated. This is more like your edgy type of fun. And I don't know, just I prefer it for more of an everyday wear compared to the classic flap. And this is why I decided to get this bag. And I could have used that money to buy me, to put it towards that jumbo that I've been wanting. But at the same time, I feel like I would like get more use out of this particular one. All right, 
Now, I have one more bag, which I did unbox in my last video. I don't have a Twilly on it just yet. I decided to order a Hermes one for it. And it is a little beautiful mini cocoa handle, extra mini cocoa handle. You guys have already seen it. Beautiful bag, tags are still on it. Cute pocket in the back. It's in the champagne gold hardware. And you guys have seen the inside as well. I love this bag. I feel like I'd be wearing it more without the chain than with it. The chain's super cute though. And yeah, that's everything in my Chanel bag collection. It's only five bags, but I know I am very fortunate to even own these bags and took a lot of time to build this collection. I definitely did start like back in 2018. So about three years of kind of saving and a couple and two of them were gifts. So in my case, I had personally purchased one a year. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next category. I have a couple Saint Laurent bags and a couple Gucci bags. So those will be the next ones. All right, guys. So next bags I have for you are Saint Laurent bags. I only have three. Now, the reason why I only have three Saint Laurent bags is I'm not the biggest fan of them. Now, I'm obsessed with the Lulu bags, that's for sure. And then obsessed with the ones I do have as well. I am willing to part with one of them, but the other two I am not. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get started. So first one is my Reeve Gosh bag. I probably just butch Reeve Gosh, Goosh, whatever it is. I love this bag and I bought it before I had purchased the Neverfull. Now, if I had to pick between one of them, I would probably pick the Neverfull. Um, but the reason why I love this bag is I managed to get it on sale on, I think, I bought it on Forward, um, like with one of their codes. And that's the one thing I do love about St. Laurent is you can get their bags discounted. Um, I feel like all the bags I'm about to show you right now, you can get discounted compared to the Louis Vuitton and Chanel that I mentioned earlier. You really can't unless you're buying it on the pre-loved market. Um, but yeah, I like this bag a lot because it's really spacious. Um, it's kind of stuffed with a bunch of stuff right now, so it's not that great looking, but it's just a kind of box in there to let it hold its shape. Um, detailing is gorgeous and it's a great great bag I'm not gonna lie but I don't really reach for it as often as I'd like to um maybe when I start living closer to a beach I'd use it or maybe because I feel like I wouldn't use it as a gym bag I know a lot of people do but because of the canvas and the cloth I feel like it would start to stink and I don't want my bags to stink especially if I spent a lot of money on them so it's a really pretty bag. Um, I wish I could use it more often. I feel like this is the one bag I'd be able to part with. Um, but I bought it as a gift for myself for starting a new job and I initially wanted to use it as a work bag and then I just realized I don't want to ruin them. Um, and that's why my Louis Vuitton is my work bag because it's more durable than this one. But yeah, super cute bag. Um, I'll eventually use, <laughs> definitely. Maybe when I, I, I go on vacation or something. But let's move on to the next ones. All right, so the next two are basically the same one, just different colors. So I'll just show them both. And the reason why I bought these in different colors is I fell in love with the style so much to the point where I kind of want to own all the colors. Um, and it is the envelope style. It is such a beautiful little bag. I have a little card in there. But... It's super sleek, super slim. And the reason why I love it is if you're going to a wedding, if you're going and you want like wherever you're going, dinner date, any of that, and you just want something simple and elegant and super classy, I feel like this would totally do it. Now, obviously I have it in the basic black with gold hardware. And then I bought the other one because I was like, oh my God, this color is stunning. If you have me on Instagram, you probably saw this on one of my posts. It is the faux red crocodile. It is such, oh my God, I'm literally obsessed with this. And I bought it and then I bought a pair of matching Louboutins to wear with it. And it was over. 
I literally am obsessed with the detailing on these bags. I like that they could fit um, like a card case. It could fit your phone. It will not fit your keys unless you like maybe take it off of like your keychain and you just put the key by itself. Then it would. Um, it is a very, very small bag. It's something I would personally wear to a wedding and that's the reason why I bought them. Um, and yeah, I love these too and they're super pretty and hopefully I get invited to more weddings once COVID is officially over. Bags are Gucci. Now, I only have two Gucci bags because I'm very, very, very picky and the one collection of Gucci bags that I, I love so much has been discontinued um, and you'll see that like that I have one of them today. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you my Gucci bags and we'll move forward from there. So the first one I have was actually given to me. Um, the fun thing about this one bag is my mother had owned it way prior to giving it to me. She had owned this bag for 23 years. So you're going to see it's a little bit beat up. I just got it. She's given it to me. She's like, hey, I don't wear this. You want it? And this is when I was first starting to get into like designer pieces and falling in love with everything. Um, but when she gave it to me, I was like, oh my God, it's actually super cute. And it is the Gucci Ophelia bag. For it being 23 years old, I would say it's not as bad as you think. The zipper's kind of tough. It is stuffed and the inside's pretty wrapped up too um and so is the strap but you know i'm okay with it because it's more of a it's more of a vintage bag i mean it definitely is vintage it's it's this bag is as old as me i'm 24 and my mom had given this to me when i was 23 and she had told me it was 23 years old she, so she had just bought it when i was born like that's the crazy thing um the reason why I like it is I can wear it crossbody and I can wear it normal and um it's super pretty and it's I'm never gonna I'm never gonna like part with it because my mother had given it to me and I love her and I know for her to give me something that she had worn when she was younger kind of like I mean I can't wait to do that with my daughter in the future it went if I was like if I'm ever blessed enough to have one um I'd honestly just love to pass down all the bags that I can to her so I know how rewarding it was for her to give this to me and I honestly love this bag so yeah all right so next one is the one I was talking about earlier it's if I could buy all the colors for this one if it was still available I would and it is the marmont velvet bag I had bought this one pre-loved because it was so hard to find the reason why I love this is this velvet is not like your other velvets. It's kind of like more durable. Um, and it is such a stunning bag. It does have a little bit of a pink and Ooh, it's cash. <laughs> I love it when that happens. But it's so beautiful. It's a very spacious bag. And the leather on the strap is beautiful. The actual bag is beautiful. And it's the one Gucci bag that I would actually wear. I'm not the biggest fan of Gucci bags. I love their shoes and I love their sandals. Um, and I love all their I, I love all their other stuff, but I feel like I hadn't gotten much into their bags. These ones though, bring them back and you will find me buying every single one of these colors because let's look at it. It is beautiful. Now you can see it's been worn slightly up here, which is fine. Um, um, and then you have the classic car on the back. You can tell that it's been used. And that's the thing with the velvet. It's easier to see that it's been used compared to leather. But at the same time, I love it. And I wouldn't trade this Gucci for the leather one, personally, or the canvas, except that one. But yeah. That's everything that I have with Gucci. It's only two bags. Um, next bags I have, I have three more left. And um, um, I could just kind of show them all together because it's just kind of one of each brand. All right, so let's get started with that. First miscellaneous bag is Jackmas. Did I say that right? Probably Jackquimus, Jackquimus. 
I don't know guys, don't, <laughs> don't come for me. Um, and the reason why I bought this bag is it was, I remember when it was trending on Instagram like crazy and it was really, really hard to find. So the second I found it, and I found it on Farfetch, the second I found it and it was discounted and I could add a 10% off, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it for sure. But the reason why I love it is that it's kind of adorable and so little and I can't wait to have a baby girl so she could just walk around with it. And um, it comes with a strap, obviously, which is not in here. Oh my God, guys, I have a lipstick that I've been looking for in here. Lip gloss. Oh, that's great hidden treasures but yeah super stunning bag i think i've only worn it once it's more of a display bag for me right now because i kind of looking for more practicality and i feel like the pochette and the palm mini palm springs have become my like go-to every days um but yeah i love this bag next one on the miscellaneous is this baby Prada nylon bag it does have a strap now this is the one this is the older style it's not the newer style um it does have a chain and it's not a removable I thought it was but it looks like it's not a removable chain but the strap is removable and it is a nylon quilted bag now the reason I love this bag is that it's very like I got lucky it's very on trend now versus when like I did have it prior it was not and the color is also beautiful. Um, the fun thing about this bag, guys, is I purchased it at the Prada outlet. They had sold me this bag for 500 and something dollars. I'm going to say probably like 550 And when I saw that, I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and the reason why I like it is just so simple. I have a lot of Prada sneakers. I love Prada sneakers. And I love to pair it with my Prada sneakers. So... I think I've worn it also a couple times. I haven't worn it that much, but I love this bag. I feel like I would be okay with parting with it to buy the nylon re-edition, but every single person and their mother has the nylon re-edition, which is why I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, I think that's my only Prada bag. And let's just move on to the last bag of the bunch last bag of the bunch i also bought pre-loved and i clearly have a lot of pre-loved but i really believe in buying it from the pre-loved market because you're buying basically the same type of bag but on discount and obviously you have to know how to buy online and i will film a video on how to do that but when i saw this i was like i i wanted it so bad i used it i used it as a work bag and now it's just a kind of everyday bag like the jeans white t-shirt type of bag and it is the balenciaga city bag now the reason why i love this bag is just like the same idea as the um louis vuitton epi noe people will not know it's a balenciaga bag unless they're like a designer lover like i am or like you are or any of that so if you're walking down the streets and you see someone with this bag well, you know that it's a Balenciaga bag. That's the real question. Um, there's currently stuff in it, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this, but very spacious bag. Um, I love it because it's so versatile. I lost a little stingy from here, like a little stud, but it's okay because it is an older city bag and it comes with, I think the mirror that all of these bags do come with and obviously the stamping and yeah and then i have a little britney spears perfume i still love those um but yeah this is the last bag of the bunch this is the 21st bag and yeah i mean that kind of it concludes everything guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this video it was a lot to film like I did not think I had that much. And then once I sat down and kind of wrote it down on pen and paper, I'm like, well, I thought I had less than I do. But again, I am very grateful that I have these bags and it's taken me a long time to get to where I am now. So very thankful for that and grateful for that. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and 
Hopefully I will be filming one of these videos every six months to 12 months, depending on how much my collection does grow, as well as I'll be filming a bunch of unboxings as well to kind of like, be like, hey, new bag here, new bag here. Um, but I think I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break on purchasing bags and just buying a little bit more of the small other goods just because I have been in quarantine now for like 14 days. I haven't worked for 14 days and it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> but as far as everything else, I really appreciate you guys sitting here with me and watching this video. It really does mean the world to me. And I know like this one was a little bit longer, but yeah, as long as you guys enjoyed it, that's all that mattered. Um, again, thank you guys so much. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you, if you want me to film anything that you'd like to see more of, please leave it down in the comment section below. Please give me a like and subscribe and um, go follow me on Instagram. It'll be linked below. Thank you guys for being here and for watching me. You guys are truly amazing and I can't wait to continue moving forward on my YouTube journey. You guys have an amazing day. Bye.